Hi friends, welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. In this video we are going to see, what is software testing lifecycle. Without any further ado, let's start the session. Lifecycle identified by HPLC with TLC conduct water testing activities a when to perform these test activities. Although testing varies between them the organization is undergoing testing lifecycle in different stages. Our first software testing lifecycle requirements analysis. Test planning of this design test environment setup, test execution and test closer to each face of with TLC has a unique input and output criteria. Entry the exit criterion in software testing is one popular interview questions. First phase in STLC is requirements analysis. Entry criterion for this phase is entrepreneurship requirement specification also known as VRS document may vary depending on the an organization. Some might call it a business requirements document is also known as BRD. During this phase of the test team study and analyze requirements from a from a testing point of view this space helps to determine whether the requirements are met testable or not. If there is any requirement untestable test team can communicate with various stakeholders such as the client commercial and technical list leads the system architects etc. During this phase so a mitigation strategy can be planned. Next phase in STLC is test planning. Test planning is the first step testing process in this space usually the test manager or test leader includes it determine effort and cost estimates for the entire project. Preparation of this plan will be carried out based on requirements analysis. Activities such as resource planning determining roles and responsibilities tool selection training requirement etc. performed at this phase. The deliverable of this phase is the test plan and other effort estimation documents. Next phase of the test planning is test design. In this phase test team begins with the test team to develop test cases prepares test scripts of test cases and test data. Once the test cases are ready then checks these test cases colleagues or team leaders. Also test the team prepares the request traceability matrix also known as RTM. RTM follows the requirements of the test cases that are needed to verify whether requirements are fulfilled. The deliverable of this phase is test cases, test scripts, test data requirements traceability matrix. The next phase is test environment setup. Can be run in parallel with test design phase test environment setup is done based on the hardware and software. In some cases, a list of software requirements steam doesn't have to be involved phase. Development team or customer provides test environment we invite the test team should prepare smoke test cases check the readiness of the given test environment. We made a video earlier unlike the smoke test and sanity test you could check video for a clear understanding of smoke test. The deliverable of this phase test environment smoke test results once test cases and test environments is ready. We go to the next phase, i.e. test launch test team execution of test cases based on planned test cases. If the test case the result is success or failure, then the same should be updated in test cases. Defect reports should be prepared failure test cases and should be reported to the development team we have an example bug tracker quality center for defect correction. Retesting will be done once the defect has been fixed. The deliverable of this phase are the test case execution report defect report RTM. The last phase is test closure. Conclusion of the final stage where we will be preparing test closure report test matrix. Testing the team will be invited to a meeting evaluate based on cycle completion criteria to coverage, quality, time, costs, software, business objectives. Test team analyses test artifacts such as test cases of defect reports etc. To identification strategies to be implemented in the future that will help to remove process bottlenecks in the upcoming projects. Test matrix and test closure the report will be prepared based on above criteria. So, guys that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture if you have any question or any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching bye. Have a nice day.